वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू आर टू आर लैडर डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर विथ करंट स्विच टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू आर टू आर लैडर डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर विथ करंट स्विच टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक सर्किट देन यू विल बी आइडेंटिफाइंग हाउ दिस नेटवर्क इज बिट डिफरेंट कंपेयर टू वोल्टेज स्विच नेटवर्क सो हियर टू हैव दिस डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर विल बी हैविंग ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर सो लेट मी ड्रो ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर हियर दिस इज इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल एंड दिस इज नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल दैट वी आर डील विथ टू ग्राउंड हियर दिस इज माई वोल्ट आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड हियर वी हैव आर एफ फीडबैक रजिस्टर राइट नाउ see over here will be connecting a network and that network is current switched network so first of all one should know what is current switched network here see switching is happening with respect to current so here i'll be making this circuit for 3 bits digital to analog converter so here we have three switches you see and along with this switch here we have input voltage let us say this is what v right and here will be connecting r to our ladder network so in parallel will be connecting to our resistor and in series will be connecting r resistor and one more to our resistor that i need to connect in parallel and i need to ground it right and here digital data that we will be giving it by switch so here i am going to connect switch so here we have a switch and if switch is on at the time it will be connected over here and if switch is off then it will be grounded so here even we are connecting switch as you can see now you see if i say this is my switch a3 this is my switch a2 and this is my switch a1 right then how this network function that is what based on which switch is getting pressed and that switch will assign amount of current so to understand that let us say this source v that is supplying current i so when this current i that is getting supplied from here so that will be getting bisected over here and over here it will be it will be i by 2 right and see this i by 2 and here even i by 2 current is there right so again this i by 2 current again that will get subdivided so i by 4 and i by 4 current that will go in this direction and again it will get subdivided into half so it will be i by 8 now see why that is divided by 2 every time the reason is you observe over here this is 2r parallel 2r so if i by 4 current is happening over here then that will get divided into i by 8 and i by 8 now that is what i by 4 in this branch now you see i by 2 is coming over here so i by 4 and i by 4 that is getting subdivided why the reason is here this is what 2r resistor and r in series with parallel combination of 2r 2r so this will be r and r in series with r that will be 2r so 2r 2r will divide current equally and similarly this equivalent resistance that is again r in series with r so that will be 2r so this i will get subdivided into i by 2 and i by 2 so over here it will be i by 2 over here it will be i by 2 again it will divide over here so it will be i by 4 here i by 4 again it will divide over here so i by 8 and i by 8 so now when this a3 switch is on at that time i by 2 current that will come over here when a2 switch is on at that time i by 4 current will come here and when a1 switch is on at that time i by 8 current that will come here so we can say this is our msb most significant bit and we can say a1 that is our lsb 
now here we are a little bit to identify output voltage so to identify output voltage first we need to calculate what is current i so this supplied current that is what i and that is v divided by r equivalent and r equivalent is what total resistance of this network now if you see resultant resistance of this network then that is 2r parallel 2r so that is r in series with r so that is again 2r 2r parallel 2r that is again r in series with r so that is 2r 2r parallel 2r so that is r so we can say equivalent resistance of this network that is r so we can say this supplied current i that is v divided by r now what is my output v0 so see my output v0 that is minus of if i say over here i dash amount of current is passing then minus of i dash into rf resistance right now what is i dash amount of current so i dash amount of current that depends on which switch is pressed right if all switches are pressed in that case we can simply say i dash will be addition of all three right so here this i dash that is based on which switch is pressed so if a3 is pressed in that case you will be finding i by 2 current will pass over here plus if a2 is pressed in that case we can say i by 4 current will pass over here if a1 is pressed in that case you can see i by 8 current that will come over here right so that is what my i dash amount of current into rf now if i rewrite this by taking common right then you'll be finding this is what minus of a3 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a1 by 8 into i into rf now you see i is v by r so we can say this is what minus of a3 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a1 by 8 into v by r so i can say v into rf by r right so this is my output voltage equation now here there are few things that we need to focus about if you observe my previous video based on r to r ladder digital to analog converter with voltage switch type of network so in that case we were been having equation that was minus of v into rf by r into a1 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a3 by 8 right so here there is a difference which is what uh, msb that is opposite right like you see previously we were been having msb that is at a1 but now there is msb at a3 see that is what the only basic difference which is there in output right so if you want to make a table based on this equation see this is what equation which we have derived it for voltage switched type circuit right and the basic equation which is there with current switch the type that is this so this is what we need to utilize for solution of examples right now let us have one example so it will be giving you clear idea so for example if circuit is given to you and if r is equals to 1 kilo ohm rf is equals to 1 kilo ohm and if it is given a3 a2 a1 that is 1 1 0 then question is find v0 so how to identify this so for that all we need to do is we need to use this basic formula minus a3 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a1 by 8 into v reference that is v into rf by 
R. And if we press A3, A2 by 1, 1, then you'll be finding it is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 into V and this two are 1, 1. So 1 by 1. So we can say this is what minus, if you solve this, then this will be minus 3 by 4 V. Right. So that is how we can identify our output voltage. So here some very basic things that we need to focus about when we observe current switch type of network. And those basic things are you see MSB that is there at A3 over here and LSB that is there at A1 over here. Previously with voltage switch type network MSB was there with A1 which was nearest to this non-inverting -inver terminal right and farthest switch that was having LSB so here that is one basic difference and circuit is even different that you see right I hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and based on that in future I'll make videos which will be resolving your queries